Hi, my name is Olga Haidas and I'm one of the four women directors to direct Polish original Netflix series called 1983. And I'm also director of Nina that was screened here at the festival. 1983 is a very cool story, dystopian, uh, happening in 2003 in Poland, but it's not Poland that we remember uh, because 20 years before, in 1983, hence the title, there was terrorist attacks that changed the course of the history. So we have Poland that freedom of uh, a human being is less important than the good of the whole nation. Uh, and we have a story of three strong characters, all representing different uh, branches of the, of the new society, struggling with the truth that they're discovering. Agnieszka Holland did the first two episodes, then Kasia Adamik did uh, three, four and eight. I did five and six, and Agnieszka Smoczyńska, director of The Lure, very cool film, you should check it out, did number seven. And we had this amazing DOP to make now, Milk overlooking the whole visual process of the, the series. Uh, so we did have a lot of meetings uh, before the actual shoot uh, started to sort of like set the, the atmosphere, the, 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 the colors, uh, framing and, and the world itself. Actually most of the, the crew of 1983 was also crew for Nina and Kasia Dang's previous film called Amok. And it was, it was, it was a blast because we managed to recreate Poland uh, in, in sort of like what if situation. So we, we got to like, like figure out how does a country that uh, remained totalitarian in a way but also very straightforward in terms of technology would look like. So we still have uh, militia, SB, running around the cities, but we also have this like technical, you know, thrive, you know, the, the, you know like, like a lot of equipment and fun stuff, but also like kind of retro cars and locations that, that were uh, very unique, totalitarian in, in a way, but also like, like uh, symmetric. Uh, that was fun, that was fun. I really enjoyed doing this because we, it, it was the first time in my career that we had to really create a whole new world. Also the costumes, Kasia Lewinska, uh, amazingly talented girl, she, she won uh, European um, awards for the sport, for costumes, and uh, she was able to build new like, like, like uniforms for the army, for police, police and everything. Uh, based on like really traditional Polish uniforms that we used to have but you know like like in old armies so that was that was a lot of fun and uh, you can see it like in the show that that you know the, the whole look is different and it's unique because the whole intrigue is is very complex but then again it's very character driven and uh, I personally like to focus on emotions and characters so as long as I focus on that and then stick to to, to very strong characters that was okay for me um, but it was tiring, like any other shoot. But uh, the whole process was very, very inspiring at the same time. And I felt artistic freedom doing that. So that, that's, I think, the biggest uh, accomplishment in, in terms of production. So the wars that we see in the, 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 the series is different than, than we see now. We have a huge Vietnamese minority that is actually a part, big part of, of, of the life of our series. Uh, and I think it's very important to, to have minorities being represented in cinema in general. And you know, like in Poland, it hasn't happened really in recent cinema and, and television work. Uh, like, like representation of minorities, any minorities doesn't happen. And here we really got to play around with this. For Christ's sake, I'm one of you! 